Being that we're a Tony Hawk's production company, we always find ourselves in unique situations. We're used to shooting action sports in unconventional ways. But that said, we feel like we knew what we were doing going into the shoot, but when we actually got up there, it was hectic. When you hit zero gravity, your body kind of freaks out on you. Part of you just wants to say, I'm gonna go enjoy this. Like, you take the camera, I'm gonna go float back here. You gotta reel it back in and say, okay, we have a job to do. It's hard enough to control your body and compose the frame as good as you can, but then it gets compounded by the fact that there's flailing bodies. Oh! <laughs> Did I hit you? The one thing that saved us was the workflow, shooting 4K for HD output. So for today's shoot, we're gonna be using all Sony gear. We got everything from action cams to the FS7. Here we got our A7S Mark II, real lightweight, compact. This one's gonna be on our Ronin stabilizer for a lot of ground shots. In addition to bringing up the A7, we got a bunch of these action cams. They're 4K, they mount easy. So we're gonna be putting them all around the plane, give us some unique angles. We also got the FS5. It's really just a great run and gun camera. It's both small and lightweight. Great for a handheld. And our A camera for the shoot's gonna be the FS7 with a 10 millimeter lens. The FS7 that we shoot a lot with was perfect for the shoot. The best part of it was shooting 60 frames a second in 4K. We often shoot 4K, even for HD edits, and with this shoot, it was more important than ever. Because 4K shoots over four times the pixels of HD, it gives you a lot more to work with in post. You can punch in, crop, and you still have a great HD quality shot. And on this shoot, where we didn't have room for a photographer, we can pull a great still 4K image from this for social media. That's super beneficial. If you're in an environment where you can't control the action as well, or you can't control the composition as well, shooting wide and recomposing in post is invaluable. Well, for me and for Jaws, it was really hard pretending to skate in zero gravity. I feel like all of us were just kind of stuck in our own little worlds of making something happen. How was it doing that and holding a camera? I didn't even realize how strange things were until we looked at the Sony action cameras mounted. <laughs> because they're the only cameras that really show everything and how ridiculous people were like getting in weird spots and yeah. falling into each other. There's a shot that has Jaws heading over to Jason, one of our cameras, and he just kicks him back into the scene. <laughs> He's like filming it and he just kicks him back into the frame. <laughs> and Jaws just goes tumbling off. You really only have about 20 seconds to try yes. to attempt what you're doing. I mean, you it's pretty a much get two tries at whatever you're going to try, and then you're on the ground. And usually in the middle of the second try is when gravity starts to return and you just drop. Oh, man. The chaos of it was hilarious. If we had it wired, it would be boring. Yeah. Right? Don't you think? Maybe if jaws. If we were perfectly spinning yeah. the whole time and we were posing and stuff, it was just chaos. Yeah. And it was hilarious. <laughs> At the end of every parabola, you would go down and just laugh and be like, I can't believe what this is happening. <laughs> Despite being one of the most fun shoots in my entire life, this whole production could have failed if it wasn't for a good solid workflow. This is one of those perfect cases where you can see a 4K camera really saving an HD edit. To float around with these guys, it was incredible. Got some really amazing videos and I can only imagine what we're going to do next. <laughs>